going to see a line follow robot. So here we have a line follow robot and this line follow robot is designed based on VID control. So we have a line sensor here and it's a 5 RI sensor. So we have 5 IR sensors here uh, for line detection and this is the center one, left one, uh, left one, right one and left uh, extreme right and extreme left. So this sensor can be used for PID uh, line follow control. So using normally line follow control, we can use two IR sensors, and just by giving simple if condition, we can uh, move left, move the robot left and right. Based on that, robot will follow the line. But that is not very efficient when it comes to uh, like uh, when it comes to very complicated paths uh, or other different type of conditions. So it is a uh, it is much more desirable to use PID control. So using the PID, PID control, we are just going to control the speed of each of these DC motors. We won't be changing the direction of the DC motor. Normally, if you want to rotate left and right, we have to control the direction of the, of the DC motor and move it left and right. But here using the PID, we are just controlling the uh, speed of the DC motor. So both the motors will be rotating always. Both the motors will be rotating in forward direction. And if uh, in case of any kind of a uh, like line detection, then it will based on that it will decrease the speed so for example if the line if the sensor is detected this sensor is detected if the last sensor is detected that means the robot is totally out of line uh, so that means it should rotate to the right and uh, align with the line so that means this wheel should move faster and this wheel, wheel should uh, either it should be stationary fully stationary or it should be moving slowly so if it is a second sensor then it doesn't have to turn that much so that means this motor will rotate fast and this will rotate slow so that means it will turn and only little bit and if it is uh, if the center center sensor is detected then that means the both both wheels will uh, run with the same speed so this speed control is done through PID control so we have set the PID uh, here for both the motors and uh, the, for feedback we are using sensor for PID feedback we are using sensor sensors here and the main part of the, of the project is uh, Arduino so the Arduino microcontroller is used for controlling uh, the, both the DC motors and also for controlling the uh, <coughs> also for getting the output from sensors so the PID program is implemented inside the, uh, in the Arduino Uno board and the uh, sensor is given, uh, is connected to uh, 5 GPU pins here and uh, also the DC motors are controlled for, uh, for DC uh, GPU pins and we have a, for power supply we have a 12 volt battery and the battery is connected to a power supply board here so we have a power supply board here in the regulator uh, DC motors and L298 and driver and in the middle we have a caster we have a caster wheel so we have a caster wheel in the and we can just use the barrel caster that is a long connector wheel power, power the road. so that's it about the uh, about the client follow the PID based